I, I think that there is going to be a big market around people designing digital clothing. Um, but the question is, if you're designing digital clothing, do you need to design, if you're, if you're the designer, do you need to make it for each kind of specific discrete point along a spectrum? Um, or you design, are you just designing it for kind of a photorealistic case or an expressive case, or can you design one and have it translate across these things? Um, you know, if I, if I buy a style from, you know, a, a designer who I care about and now I'm a dragon, you know, is there a way to morph that? So it like goes on the dragon in a way that makes sense. Let's say I buy a digital shirt. Um, for my photorealistic avatar, I would imagine that the economy around virtual clothing, as an example, is going to be quite as big. Why wouldn't I spend almost as much money um, in investing in my my appearance or expression? So you buy some shirt for your photorealistic avatar. Wouldn't it be cool if there was a way to basically um, translate that into a more expressive thing for your kind of cartoonish or expressive avatar? Maybe you know if a designer sells one thing, then it actually comes in a pack and there's two and you can use um, either one on, on that. But but I actually think this stuff might exist more as a spectrum in the future, and especially stuff around like style transfer. You know, take this shirt and put it in the style of what I've designed for my expressive avatar. So the fashion, you, you, you might be buying like a generator, like a closet that generates a style. And then like, like with the GANs, they'll be able to infinitely generate outfits. Now you don't even have to choose. Your closet generates your outfit for you every time.